How's it going everybody? Speaker here and welcome to Zero Visibility, a short cosmic horror pixel retro game where we get lost in the mountains with our friends. Unfortunately something sinister is afoot, it is tracking us and it is probably wants to kill us because it's a horror game, so we've got to try and avoid that. If you enjoyed the video please make sure to drop a like on it. Welcome to Zero Visibility and let's get right into it shall we? Enjoy the video. Guys, it can't be that big of a deal. I'm sure it's cool, but... Yeah, no, it's just a lot of fun. Elaine, you should be ashamed of yourself. Why should Elaine be ashamed of herself? It's everything. Your life up to now was empty and you didn't even realize it. Oh, okay, he's one of these kind of people. God damn it, boy. It's just been a long, sad preamble. A long preamble to... Hot Springs? You know it, baby. Ah, oh, okay, okay. He's one of those, you've never been to a hot spring, therefore your life has been a waste. Hot springs doesn't really describe it well. It's more like a really warm river. Like when somebody pees in the water near you, but all the time. Lovely. You're a poet, Boyd. God damn it, yep, Boyd, it's... Man is a, a lyrical genius. Are things like this better in the summer? Nah, nothing like soaking in a hot water surrounded by snow. I'll take your word for it. Looks like we're about 40 minutes out. God, would you quit it with the map? It's just Chalk Creek Road all the way up. So we're going to a hot spring and... Oh, we're driving the car. That's pretty cool. Huh. And... Oh, I can crash this thing. Okay, right. We're going to keep a straight line. I'm not going to fuck it up and veer off the roads. That's the plan anyway. I wasn't actually expecting to be able to drive. I figured it would be a bit of a narrative with crash and then like, you know. Wait, was there snow in the forecast? Nope, I checked this morning. It's the mountains due to anything can happen. Will they still be open? Of course they'll be open. Hot springs don't close for snow. Great, well, drive slow. I couldn't go much faster even if I wanted to. The trash mobile can barely handle these hills. Well, let's hope that we don't decide to go too fast and crash, because I am not taking responsibility. I mean, for once, I'm actually driving kind of okay. Usually in these kind of games, uh, I immediately crash and burn. Oh, but there's obviously a blizzard. Yeah, so it seems we get lost in a blizzard and cosmic shit happens next. I can't see shit. The snow's really picking up. This doesn't look good. Maybe, maybe we should go back. We're way closer to the hot springs than we are to home. And we can stay there overnight if we need to. <sighs> of course, this had to happen today. The one day we were all free. It's fine, Sarah. Just focus on driving. We've got a map. You've all been here before. Okay, but everyone be on the lookout for street signs. Y'all know the Donner Party? Well, when we inevitably get around to eating so... Eating each other... Shut up, boys. You're not helping. I'm keeping up morale. Anyway, I vote we eat Leo first. God damn it, boy, you're really not helping here, buddy. So these guys have been here before, but it would seem this time a cosmic horror is going to, well, rear its ugly head. Oh, the screen's vibrating. I don't like that. Kind of gives me the vibe that maybe something is afoot. Oh. Hmm. Well, I definitely saw that. Hello, Sarah. There's a street sign. What does it say? I can't read it from here. Me neither. Hold on. I'll pull over. We'll just hop out and take a look. 15 seconds tops. I bet we could get a nice marble steak out of Leo. Shut up, Boyd. To himself. Maybe a chili. I swear to God, Boyd is a bit of a shitter. Okay, so we can exit the car. Oh, and it's actually... That's pretty cool. I really like the look of this game. What does this say? What the hell? What kind of absolute psychopath would do that? Do what? The sign's all scratched out. It's completely illegible. Well, let's think about this logically. We're the fork. There's a tunnel ahead and a branch off to the side. Leo, is there anything like this on the map? There are like five different forks like this in the area. So, we're lost. We're not lost. We didn't take any turns since getting on Chalk Creek. If we keep moving, we should reach Johnson Village any minute now. Can we discuss this in the car? It's freezing. Yeah, I agree. It's it's way too cold to be out. 
So it would seem the tunnel's collapsed, which means we have to go down the side road here. And, well, the sign's scratch out, which means something spooky is afoot. Actually, can we just... I could swear we actually had an inspect marker here. We do. Look at that. What's this about? It's completely caved in. Cool. Great. Awesome. Love it. Oh, well. I guess that's everything. I really do hope Boyd dies first. He's the kind of character I would want to see in a video game die first. Oh, so wait. What the hell has happened with the car? That looks like something's leaking? Maybe? I really hope that's not the case. Did something like damage my car? Wait, the hell was that? I don't know, the car's chugging. Oh no. I have attacked like 20 minutes ago. Maybe there's a leak? Fuck. Yeah, and the mountain's going kind of crazy. What do we do now? We'll freeze if we stay in here. We have to continue on foot. Grab anything warm you can find and bundle up. Well, this is not what I was hoping to do. I just wanted to go to some hot springs, but I guess we're doing this instead. I do like the atmosphere and the suspense of this game so far. It definitely feels... Hold up, are those fire trucks? We can ask them for help. Yeah, but they look kind of abandoned. Oh, what the fuck is going on here, man? Looks like a landslide. The doors on the trucks are open. I don't think they're still here. There are footprints in the snow. They look fresh. Oh, so something's obviously happened then. That's not good. Also, those definitely don't look like trees. So yeah, we've got our cosmic horror happening by the looks of things. What the hell? Pretty sinister. I've never seen anything like this. Elaine, you're into rocks, right? Not enough to recognize this. Basalt, maybe? But the angles are too perfect. They look man-made. I don't like this. I think we should go back the way we came. Yeah, I agree, actually. But at the same time, this is a horror game. And uh, horror games demand we continue. Oh, what the fuck? Sarah? Sarah? Huh? What? Why did you stop? I... I'm fine. Let's keep moving. Oh, so something happened and the train has collapsed, too. What the hell happened to this place? This is not good at all, I think. Jesus, this thing is old. Looks like a model train kit, like a kid got frustrated and tossed it across the room. Yeah, but it's not a model train, right? <laughs> it shouldn't be. Oh, okay. So yeah, something's definitely happened to this mountain, that's for sure. Wait, there's something here. The pile of rocks? There's a note on it. Please send help. One of us is injured, and the blizzard is only getting worse. There are fresh footprints in the snow, but we searched for hours and haven't found a soul. We tried to retrace our steps, but we can't find a way out. We've been waiting for a search party, but with this weather, I don't think it's coming. The bridge is damaged, but we think we can fix it. If you find this note, we've gone on ahead. Maybe we'll find a way off this damn mountain. I don't like this. We should go back the way we came. What happens if we try and go back the way we came, actually? You know, yeah, let's just try that. Yo, know, what would be the outcome if we just left? Because usually in horror games, you're not allowed to just leave. So I'm kind of curious that if we just left, will it, like, let us out? No, it won't. It's just put a wall up. Okay, fuck. Well, I guess there's our answer. No, 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 no. That's not that's not possible. Did we get turned around? How? How we get turned around? We walked through here like 30 seconds ago. Guys, we have to keep moving. It's freezing and we don't have any supplies. Well, there's our answer. We're definitely not going back the way we came. We can't really sprint either, which is uh, a pain. So this is going to be like a slow walking journey, I think. But yeah, so it definitely seems that they were going to this resort place and then something maybe landed here or woke up here. Because, you know, they all talk about the old ones and Cosmic Car being that they're already here. They're just asleep. 
This doesn't look sturdy at all. It's the only way forward, so it doesn't matter if it's sturdy or not. When do we put Sarah in charge? Shut up, Boyd. You're not helping. No, but actually, does this seem unnecessarily dangerous to anyone else? We're climbing across an old rickety bridge above a spike pit. I think it would be better to go back. So you think we should go wait by the giant wall that suddenly appeared blocking our way out? Okay, fair point. But wouldn't it be smarter to just post up and just wait for rescue? The route out is blocked. That means the route in is blocked as well. Nobody is coming to get us, Boyd. Boyd, you really are complete shit. I gotta say, he's the kind of character I really want to see die in a horror game, so... It sounds mean. Oh, what the fuck? Sarah, Sarah, what's up with you? Did, did you all see? Were you talking about this from when the not two steps from falling to our deaths? Boyd's right, we can't stop here. So Sarah's getting hallucinations of something. Right. Why well, I have a feeling the bridge is about to break. Behind us. No, okay, never mind. So there's definitely something afoot, and Sarah is getting hallucinations. Boyd is an asshole, and I hope he dies. And overall, this game is pretty well designed so far. I love the atmosphere, and the tension building is on point. I do love the pixel retro kind of look to it. Another note. I don't know how long I've been here. Weeks? Years? Time doesn't have meaning here. The snow never stops. There's no day or night. Fires never stop burning. Footprints never fade. I'm freezing. I have no food, but I'm still alive. I found a note on the other side of the bridge. Whoever wrote it seems to have vanished without a trace. Maybe they went on ahead, or maybe they were rescued. There's no way back. All the paths are blocked. I want to keep moving forward. I feel like I need to, but it doesn't make any sense. I don't trust the feeling it's false. I should be waiting for rescue or looking for food, not going further up the mountain. But I need to reach the peak. I need to understand. Please find me. I'm so alone. Oh, wow. Okay. So I guess, yeah, we're definitely not the first people to get lost here. Holy shit, is that a house? More like a shack? Maybe they have a phone. I'd be surprised if they have a toilet. Shut up, Boyd. Thank God, finally some luck. Boyd, you're actually not helping, I swear to God. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? What just... Elaine! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Wait, what? Where is she? Did you not see it? Something... Oh my god, oh my god. Everyone slow down. What happened? I'm ventilating. What the hell's going on? I think... I think I saw something take Elaine. Something like what? A bear? I don't know. Where did they go? Well, we need to help her. Where did they go? Down. Into the snow. How can somebody go down into the snow? I don't fucking know. I'm just telling you what I saw. Her footsteps just stop. Come on, let's check the house. If there's someone there, maybe they can help. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. What the actual fuck? Hello? Is anybody there? We need a phone. Our friends. Leave. I don't have a phone. Please, we need help. I have a gun. Go. Just go and no one gets hurt. Thank God he has a gun. Please, our friend was taken by something we need. I said leave. Oh, oh lord. You're just a bunch of kids. Please, sir, something took our friend. We need your help. You have a gun. You could... The gun's empty. Used the last bullet years ago. Listen, please listen to me. I know this is hard to hear, but please don't go looking for your friend. Are you fucking nuts? Look, just listen. That thing that took your friend will only attack if you try to reach the peak. If you don't try to move forward, it'll leave you alone. I'm the proof. Please, I've seen dozens of groups like yours, and they all end up... What the fuck are you talking about? Are we gonna leave Elaine out there? Not even try to find her? No, no, you're right. We need to keep moving. Please don't do this. You're just kids. I can't let kids... I don't give a shit what you think. I'm not leaving a friend to die because some old man in shack said so. If we want to catch up to them, we need to leave now. You're right. Let's go. Okay, so this man then pretty much is probably one of the people who have been... Well, he's one of the few people who haven't gone up and probably has seen this thing. And it's abducting us one by one now. That is fucking grim. Oh my god. I was not expecting it. It actually gave me a legitimate jump with the music starting. Holy fuck. 
We decided to take the only open route. It leads further up the mountain. We'll keep moving until we find the path to take us back down. At least that's my plan. The others are behaving strangely. Almost like they've given up on rescue or even finding our own way home. All they talk about is reaching the top of the mountain. Maybe there's something in the air, a hallucinogen or something. Or maybe it's just the hunger and the cold. It might be getting to me too. I've been seeing a silhouette just out of sight in the fog. I haven't gotten a good look at it yet. Anytime I catch a glimpse, it disappears. At first, I thought it was a mountain lion, but now I'm not convinced. There's intelligence there, like we're being investigated, like it's waiting to see what we do. The further we move up the mountain, the closer it gets. Maybe it's just a hallucination, but I'm starting to think moving forward isn't such a good idea. I don't trust the others anymore, but I can't bring myself to split up with that thing out there in the fog. Please find us. I don't want to die up here. Well, we're just a bunch of kids. What the hell are we going to do? So our friend is just gone then. Elaine is dead, more than likely. If a cosmic demon just like grabs you and drags you into the snow, it's definitely not there to just let you live. So... And how fast it came at us was actually kind of scary. So, like, it looks... Oh, God, no. Holy shit. Leo, where did it go? Where the fuck did it go? Boyd, fuck. Boyd. We need to keep moving. What's gotten into you? It's got Elaine and now Leo. They can be dead for all we know. And you think I don't care? You think I'm pushing forward because I want to? What do we stand to gain by staying here, hmm? We're sitting ducks. We stand a better chance if we keep moving. We can go back, we can keep moving forward. I really don't care. But I'm not gonna wait here for you to take us to. Yeah, that's a good idea. Jesus Christ, so it's it's not waiting. Holy shit. Looks like some sort of camp. This is this is so fucked. Okay. They were more prepared than us. Oh, and there's blood stains. a shirt holy shit it looks like they were pulled out of their tents so this thing came from them while they were sleeping probably because they were more prepared it didn't attack them as readily as it's attacking us i can't believe we found it it's more incredible than i could have imagined our measurements were correct the gravitational fluctuations are much stronger than our initial calculations time is warped here beyond any currently understood scientific explanation Whatever this place is, it seems to have been floating through space and time since long before the birth of our sun. What are the chances of it crossing Earth? Trillions to one? So this place, there's a logic to it. Boy, I think this was a research crew. I, I don't want to know. Let's just, let's just keep moving. What the fuck? Okay. I feel this thing's going to come and get Boyd next. We're nearly at the peak as well, yeah. Emma, I don't feel cold anymore. I don't feel much of anything. The bridge still isn't done. I don't know how long I've been here. Ben and Drew are gone. Whatever those things are, took them. I made graves to them. It felt like the right thing to do. I wonder if someone will make a grave for me too, Adam. Wait a second, why are his footsteps off the edge? Oh. Okay, so I guess uh, a lot of people just walked off. Oh my god, are those bodies? Watch that, Boyd. It's a long way down. Boyd? Boyd, are you okay? Oh no. So I guess a lot of people just jumped off trying to get to the peak. They even made a ladder. Which I'm kind of curious about. I kind of want to take a look before we go over there. Oh, we can't. Okay. As bloodstains leading here to a lot of graves. Rest in peace, Adam. Everyone deserves a proper burial. Oh, no. Was someone burying all the bodies? That thing's coming. It's zooming us out. It's going to be here any second, I think. What's with all the graves? Sarah, I, I don't think we're supposed to be here. What are you talking about? This place... Whoever built it didn't want people to come here. It's so threatening. It feels like a warning. 
I want to go back. I want to go home. Wait, we can't go back. I know. I know. From smart ass to actual, uh... Well, can't even articulate their words anymore. My companions refused to believe. That's why they were taken. They lacked faith. God brought us here. We were chosen. And they didn't live up to expectations. I've never been the religious type. But this place is all the proof I need. I don't know what kind of God lies at the end of this path. But I can't deny its power. I've seen it with my own two eyes. And I'm choosing to believe. Okay, so it's like some kind of like cosmic God. And this thing is a servant to it. There it fucking is. Oh no. And there goes Boyd. No, Boyd, no. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Wow. Boyd's gone and we found some kind of cosmic museum. So... It looks like something dumped all of these things on the planet. These things largely fall and die. And they're in servitude to whatever this thing is. But they... And they were left here as the thing left them or something? I don't know. Hmm. So it seemed that they're servants to like some sort of cosmic being and whoa, okay. Yeah, we're definitely not on the mountain anymore, that's for sure. Oh, that's a lot of the dead people and a fire so we're not the only ones who have been here the architecture is incredible I've never seen anything like it no human that built this there's some sort of being up ahead the others call it God but I don't think that's the right word it's incredible unknowable and the creature hunting us doesn't want us to reach it I don't know how but I can feel it I'm almost there we live our lives searching for something incredible, something unique, something worth dying for. That's what's at the end of this path, something worth dying for. And if I keep pushing forward, I'll be the first to see it. I know it's worth it. It has to be worth it. Christine Rowe in 1936. Okay. Well, judging by all these bodies, I don't think... It's worth it, nor do we make it, maybe. It seems like it would be a bit remiss to think that it's actually going to work. In fact, this bridge isn't even finished, so they haven't made it. I killed one of them, one of those monsters following us. They move faster than anything I've ever seen, but they bleed red just like us. There should only be one left now. After I finish the bridge, I'll hunt it down and kill it too. Anything that stands between us and God needs to be extinguished. Oh. Okay. So there's only one of them. And there it is. And there's my dead friends. So it's killed them. Jesus Christ. Well, at least we got revenge for our friends, that's for sure. She's not even gonna say it, and I think our character's gone fully insane now at this point. I mean, I would too. Probably, seeing my friends just killed like that. So, I guess we're about to meet God. Okay. Something tells me that this thing was defending us against it. It was, like, using us. Or, well, it was trying killing us to stop us getting to this thing. Because releasing it would be a bad idea. At least that's the idea I get it from it. I finally made it. It's... It's incredible. 
They were right. It was worth it. It was all worth it. I can't even read that, honestly. It's cosmic language. Ah! Oh! It absorbed us! And left! What? Ah! Okay. I see. Oh my god, I actually had that in reverse. That was zero visibility, boys, and after seeing that scene there, I figured it out. That was actually amazing. Okay, so if I'm correct, I think this is what happened. We've got an entire archive to look at here. So this is what I think happened. This thing visited their planet. And it absorbed them like it just absorbed Sarah. It then traveled to a new planet. It enslaved what was left of them. It took them all and enslaved them. And traveled to a new planet, leaving some on each. And the things that were stopping us from getting to it were actually trying to protect us. Or it was trying to stop it getting out. They actually captured it and put it on Earth. And I assume what happened was they were trying to kill anyone trying to get to it because it literally started the cycle anew. It's some form of cosmic horror. But, uh, well, we were idiots enough to kill the last defender. And now it's going to do its thing again, absorb humanity and move on. I got to say, this game was actually really, really good. I really enjoyed it. The atmosphere and the sound design was actually phenomenal. And I loved just how it kind of unveiled the mystery piece by piece. Like, you had an idea what was going on. I was completely, actually, I guess, bamboozled by those murals. Because I thought it was the opposite way. That it dropped them to Earth. But no, it actually absorbed and killed them all. And then as a result, it led to us actually unleashing a uh, cosmic horror on the planet. And our last bit of recorded evidence is a YouTube short where it just absorbs and kills everybody. Unfortunate. Either way, that was Zero Visibility, a very enjoyable little indie horror game. And honestly, something I didn't expect to be so good. I saw some screenshots of it. I was like, oh, it looks like a point and click. It actually wasn't. And I was honestly blown away with this. It was an actual treat to play. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, if you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to download the game for yourself, give it a whirl, or even support the developer, there'll be links to the game as well as the dev in the description below. I highly recommend it. This was something else entirely. That's really it, though. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye for now. So we're going to a hot spring, and... Oh, we're driving the car. That's pretty cool. I'm keeping up morale. Anyway, I vote we eat Leo first. God damn it, boy, you're really not helping here, buddy. This is a horror game, and uh, horror games demand we continue. Oh, what the fuck? I don't like this. We should go back the way we came. What happens if we try and go back the way we came, actually? You know, yeah, let's just try that. No, it won't. It's just put a wall up. Okay, fuck. Boy, you're actually not helping, I swear to God. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Wait a second, why are his footsteps off the edge? Oh. Okay. So it seemed that they're servants to like some sort of cosmic being and whoa, okay. Yeah, we're definitely not on the mountain anymore, that's for sure. There should only be one left now. After I finish the bridge, I'll hunt it down and kill it too. Anything that stands between us and God needs to be extinguished. Oh. Okay.